When you energize the controller for the first time, a screen will come up asking you to set the time and date. You must do this so the controller provides correct data. Punch into each setting individually and set the appropriate time and date. A few keynotes. Hours are set on a 24-hour clock, so if it's 2 in the afternoon, you would enter 14. For weekday, enter 1 through 7, with 1 being Monday, and for date, enter the current day of the month. Once ready, push Set Time and Date. You can confirm you've done this correctly by checking the controller time here, which should now be current. Press back. Now you'll see a red flashing banner. Don't panic. This is totally normal, and just a reminder to set your desired start PSI. The reset PSI will be automatically set to 10 pounds higher. However, if you want to change that, you can punch in, enter your desired range, and press Enter. Press Next. An important note, if you press Home at any point during the initial setup, you must log in to access the Setup Assistant or Advanced Setup. Otherwise, the controller will beep at you and it will win. To log in, press Setup, Login, and enter User, User. Push Login and then Exit. You can now continue where you left off by pressing Setup Assistant. There are only three pages here, so just press Next until you find where you left off. To continue your initial setup, watch our next tutorial to learn how to set the phase sequence, deluge remote start, and minimum run timer on page two of your setup assistant.